So now let's talk about this classwork page. So go ahead and click on classwork and it brings you to this awesome interface here. And so you just have a giant create button. And of course it gives you some options as far as what you can do. There's some other useful buttons on the screen. So you have your class drive folder. So anything that you save it as, a, as an attachment or you make a copy for a student, it goes into this class drive folder, how you organize it by assignment. It also gives you a Google Calendar that you and your students will be able to see. So if you put all your assignments in with due dates, say for the whole entire quarter, it creates a really nice Google Calendar that students can access. But let's go ahead and hit the Create button, and it gives us some options. So this was used to be on the stream, but now it's here in Classwork. So we have Assignment, Question, Reuse Post, and Topic. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on topic first. So I'm gonna to click topic, and I'm gonna label this as unit one. So you might do this by maybe if you're a project-based classroom, by projects, if you use um, uh, SOL standards or Common Core standards, you can list these here. But uh, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna list out my units. So I'm gonna create unit one topic. I'm gonna create unit two. And what it does, you can you can see how it starts to organize topics a whole lot differently than it did in the previous version. So in here, I'm going to go and create some assignments here. So I'm going to create an assignment. And I'm going to create this for unit one, lesson one. And so this interface is pretty close to the same, except the points now is, is listed here. So I can go ahead and change the points to anything I want. We can make it ungraded, so I can change the point total to 50. I can add a due date, so when I do that, it shows up in Google Calendar. And I'm gonna set the topic to unit one. And let's go ahead and, so these buttons are the same, so attachment, drive, YouTube, or a link for the website. And the arrow button next to assign is the same, so you can schedule assignments, you can save as a draft, or assign immediately. Let's go ahead and hit assign. And when I do that, it's now right underneath of unit one. Super, super awesome. So let's go ahead and create another, let's create a question. I'm gonna put this into unit uh, two intro question. So here you also have the same thing, instructions, point totals, due dates, so it says due dates there. Topic, I'm gonna unit two. So you have short answer or multiple choice. For multiple choice, this is just A, B, C, or D in there, but let's keep it short answer. And let's hit ask. And you notice that now it's grouped under unit two. And so there's some really, really cool things you can do in here. And so these three dots are magical here in the classwork. So if I click on the three dots, I can rename the topic I can delete it, which I advise you not to do. But if you if you delete the topic by accident, your assignments are still there. Or I can hit copy link. What's really cool about copy link is that if you do any parent newsletters, you can actually share out the link for all the assignments for this particular unit. So if you have a test coming up and you wanna share out resources, it's a great way to do that. You can also do the same thing by just the lesson with the copy link feature.